Hello viewers and welcome to this England career mode series. It is Bromo18 here and we are now up to episode 9 of the series so far. If you've missed the last episode or any of the episodes beforehand, I'd advise that you go and check those out first before checking this one uh, as you'll receive many spoilers and you'll have missed out on quite a lot. Uh, but on that note guys, it is time to now get on with this episode. We have... The draw for the round of 16 in the World Cup, and then we have that game to play as well. But first of all, I just want to take a look at the uh, the group stages, uh, see uh, all the groups, see who qualified, who didn't, and uh, who we could potentially get uh, in the round of 16. So if we go all the way to Group A, so first of all, Portugal and Netherlands, very tough games, two very tough games indeed. Let's come through a very uh, you know a very hard group indeed, Switzerland and Colombia, who surprisingly. Uh, didn't even finish with a single point on the board. Uh, so, yeah, the other teams must have been very strong to uh, to have taken all, all three points in every game off them. So, yeah, some very tough games there. Then we have Chile and Italy once again. That is uh, looking really challenging for us. Um, Chile actually coming first in that group, only conceding one goal. Uh, so they're looking very strong indeed. In Group C, uh, Germany and Uruguay. Again, all the big teams managing to come through so far. All the uh, the strongest, uh, you know, challengers that you'd expect to qualify from the group stages are at the moment. There's not been any shocks. Uh, Germany and Uruguay. You would always expect to be there or thereabouts. Uh, Brazil and Denmark in this one. Once again, probably the favourites in that group. It was quite tight though. Denmark and uh, Republic of Ireland battling it out uh, for second place but Denmark just about uh, coming through with that draw against New Zealand uh, and then of course we have our group which is us and Romania then we have Spain and Cameroon Scotland and USA both missing out that time surprising that USA weren't able uh, to do it they've got a you know a good squad at least uh, on this game I know they, they missed out on it in uh, in real life terms but yeah Cameroon and Spain once again some very tough teams I'm noticing there's very Tough teams, and wow, that's a shock there. France actually didn't qualify. They didn't get through. They finished with only one point. Uh, sorry, one win even. Um, actually, I'm lying to you. I'm looking, and there's only two games played. <coughs> right, guys, I'm back. I've actually had to come back. I'd noticed that only uh, some groups had played all three games, uh, and then I was uh, fast-forwarding onto the ones that had only played two. So we've now come back after all the games are completed. And it is France and South Africa that have actually qualified from that group. Uh, France in the end, they were looking a little bit dodgy. They were third, but they managed to pull it, pull through, uh, and they've got themselves through to the next round. Uh, Argentina and Russia in that group. Austria missing out, actually coming last. Uh, they've got a decent side, so it's a, a slight surprise. But yeah, Russia and Argentina, you would expect to get through. And that rounds it off. So lots of tough, tough games um, that we could possibly get. I mean, there's not any. Uh, there's really not any easy games. They're all uh, they're all decent sides. Um, you know, just looking through them, there's not any draw that you'd you'd consider. I mean, there's some you'd want to avoid, of course. I mean, the likes of Chile, Germany, etc., uh, Spain. But there's uh, but all of them you'd find a tough test. And we are now going to see who we have uh, in the round of 16. So, guys, we do actually have Cameroon. In the round of 16, uh, elsewhere, there's um, Portugal have actually beaten Italy on penalties. Germany beat Denmark 5-1 already. Uh, and then after that, we've got France versus Russia, Chile versus Holland, Brazil versus Uruguay, Spain versus Romania, and Argentina face off against South Africa. So, lots of really good draws there for the round of 16. That's really exciting. And for us, we have a tough game against Cameroon. Similar to the Challenge of Ivory Coast, they're going to have a pacey sort of side. Um, they're going to be very energetic, so we have to be wary of that. And we know the problems we came up against Ivory Coast. Uh, so I am now going to sort out the team, uh, and I'll be back with you shortly. Right, guys, I am back, and this is the side that I've opted to go with. Just one change from the team that started uh, in that win against Romania and that is Michael Keane is coming for John Stones. John Stones has been looking slightly dodgy. Uh, he's made a few mistakes. We did mention it last game about how it was probably worth taking him out and Michael Keane does come in. So, uh, on that note guys, it is time to begin the game. Cameroon in the round of 16. Hopefully we can get a win here uh, and I will see you shortly. 
So onto the lineups. Obviously, you already know it has the straightforward 4-4-2. But now onto the Cameroon lineup. And let's have a look here on the bench. The locks of Song and G. Or Clinton and Jai even. Abubakar up front. Uh, Chupo Moting on the left. Locks of Bong, Matip and Kulu at the back. Nyam as well. A good defence. Uh, very strong defence. I uh, only know a couple of their attackers. Um, I'm sure the rest of them are sort of dotted around Europe uh, in, in terms of the leagues, etc. But um, yeah, nevertheless, I'm still expecting a really tough game. There are going to be no pushovers here, and we have to be very wary. Uh, and now into the game. Well, one from Michael Keane, and now we can go on the break. Marcus Rashford now, what will he do with the ball? Oh, he spotted the run of Sterling over on the far side. It's a great ball, and Sterling's got some space to run into. It's poor touch from Raheem Sterling. What will he do with the ball now? He's come to Kane. And Kane's going to shoot a goal. It's a good save from the keeper. We need to close him down here. Well done, Jordan Henderson. Now we can hit him on the break. This is where we're really in our element. Need that run. Nice. He's found Henderson. Vardy's only the, the only option in the middle. But he's got Sterling arriving at the back post. Headers it straight to the keeper. I really wanted him to volley that, to be honest. Gaitan Bong down the left-hand side now. Tries to find a Bubakar. Keane has... Oh, that's really strong from Michael Keane. Very well done indeed. Oh, no. Oh, I wanted that to go to Sterling down the far side. And it's a corner for Cameroon. Oh, and it's a goal. It's come from that mistake. I wanted the through ball to go to Raheem Sterling, who was down the wing in like acres of space. But instead, he through balled it to Kyle Walker for some reason, even though he's behind him. And as a result, they've won the corner and they've scored from it. We fall asleep. And this is big, big trouble uh, for us now. Just having a look here. It's actually, uh, it's actually Michael Keane who loses his man. That's really disappointing. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a Bubakar who scored. I didn't quite look at the uh, the name. Let's have a look here. Yeah, it is a Vin Vincent Abubakar who scored his second goal of the World Cup. Keane has to be stronger in marking there. We're going to go. We are going to go attacking now. Cameroon. It was it was pretty much their first chance of the game. Um, so that's really poor one to give away. Vardy's on his bike. We need that run now. Can he cut back inside? He can. Oh, it's a lovely play from Jamie Vardy. Goes for goal. Well, what will he do with the ball now? He spotted Ali. Oh, please be a corner. No. And this guy is very fast indeed. I have no idea who he is. I'm not going to lie. Whoa, ref. Oh, my God. I thought that was a goal. Jesus. I thought he'd given it then, and it was about to flash up Jack Butland own goal. I was very worried. Uh, but, but we need to focus on this now. There's some nice play from England indeed. Down the right-hand side, Raheem Sterling into Rashford. Oh, he should have done better there. Really should have done better there. The Cameroon are now able to break. There's a lot happening in stoppage time here. There's only supposed to be two minutes. Deli Ali wins the ball right now, and it will go to half-time because we're on the attack, surely. Kane looks for the ball of Vardy there, but it doesn't quite come off. Vardy does well there. We need the run of Kane now. Kane does well now. Can he hold it up for the players getting to the box? He does very well indeed. Rashford's free. Oh, he's straight at the keeper. No. And it's half-time on that note. Wow, Marcus Rashford. He's had two chances in the space of stoppage time alone. He should have put at least one of them away. Definitely that one. He's blasted it straight at the keeper. The uh, the midfielder's lost him. And uh, he really should have done better there. As we've got a few tied legs, which is really worrying indeed. Um, if I have a look here. Unfortunately, we are going to have to take a defender off, which is really annoying because Rose is absolutely knackered. Bertrand will have to come on. Ali is looking tired. Uh, I think Jesse Lingard will have to come on for now. We'll put him in the centre, but he may have to come out on the right because Sterling is also looking quite tired. Uh, second half, all to play for. We're now going to go ultra attacking. Uh, and we've just got to go for it. He's found the run of Kane. And now Kane latches it onto Rashford. That's a poor ball from Marcus Rashford. He's on his weaker foot and he's clearly not used to that sort of situation. 
Oh, as Henderson wins it now quite high at the pitch and he's in a good position. It's opened up for him. Henderson will go for goal and will score. It's 1-1. Jordan Henderson, an unlikely hero. He's yet to score uh, in the World Cup as he uh, runs off in celebration. Uh, but finally, he has managed what a time to get his first goal. The captain actually no less. Uh, and it is now 1-1. We needed that desperately because it, it was going to start to get to panic stations pretty soon. He's won the ball high at the pitch. It just opens up for him. Uh, the centre-half, Joel Matip, is actually follows Vardy. Vardy drags him out really well. Uh, and, and as a result of that, he's able to run into that space created. And it's a calm finish. 1-1 now. Oh, wanted Bertrand to intercept that. Thankfully, it's offside. And we are going to make final sub here. The most tired looks like Raheem Sterling, so it's going to have to be him. We'll swap him with Lingard. Bring Lingard out to the right, uh, and Wayne Bruni will come on. Um, yeah, I think that's the best. I think that's the best way to go. We could have perhaps brought Antonio on and put him up front. Uh, oh no, on the wing. Sorry, left Lingard in, in the middle, but I think we can go with that. I've got a bad feeling this may go to extra time. I don't really want that. But Rashford through. may not need to go to extra time. He's had a poor game, but he can make do, make amends here. He can indeed. It's 2-1 England. Marcus Rashford once again. He came up big for us early on in the group stages. And he has come up big for us again when we needed him most. Marcus Rashford, it's nice play. We bursted well. This open space and we have to punish teams for that and we do this time. Harry Kane once again getting the assist as he does his simple layoff, holds the ball up well. Marcus Rashford is there. And it is 2-1 now. We're gonna sit back this time. We'll just go defensive for now. Not looking to make any mistakes whatsoever from now on. Oh, it's a poor pass, and Jesse Lingard is able to pounce onto that. And Cameroon have committed now, and they've left acres of space. And Rashford is free at the back post. He's found him. Why have I done that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Who was that? I think it was... Oh, I think it was Rooney. That was awful. Why didn't I just shoot as well? I mean, that... Wow, that is absolutely shocking. I mean, they haven't even dared to show a replay of it because it was that poor and nevertheless we should have made we should have punished them there we should have finished off the game very frustrating Wayne Rooney now can he make amends he can with that sort of ball Jesse Lingard is there Lingard finds Kane running in and Cameroon clear for the corner and we have the chance to break now Wayne Rooney in pole position but the ref blows up for full time and we are through to the quarterfinals we've achieved our objective set by the board uh, and now everything else is a bonus. Really pleased with that. We've uh, obviously, as always, we have done in every single uh, <laughs> game in the World Cup so far. We've made it tough for ourselves. Um, we've done it the exciting way, but a challenging way. Marcus Rashford now on four goals in the tournament. He's got a, a very big chance indeed to to finish off as the uh, as the uh, top goal scorer in the in in the tournament. So he'll definitely be looking for that. We look elsewhere, France have beaten Russia, still a couple of results to go. We're going to show uh, who we get. Uh, I'm going to show who, who we get in the next round as well, in the quarterfinal, and then end the episode there. So if we just simulate here now, uh, I imagine it'll be around Tuesday or Wednesday, the, uh, the next game. So uh, keep your eyes on that date. No, it's Thursday, and it is France. It's a very, very tough draw against France. They've just beaten Russia in the last round. They did struggle a little bit in the group stages, but nevertheless, they're a very good side. Uh, and this is where the real, real top-notch challenges uh, begin. They've got, they match us in, in many ways, to be fair. They're also very pacey, very direct. Got a lot of class and, uh, wait a minute, I've just seen this. What is happening here? Just on a side note. Andres Iniesta just completes his move to Roma, 26 million. You know, as as you do. But uh, on to more pressing matters. Yeah, um, into the quarterfinals against France. And elsewhere, Germany have Portugal, Chile have Brazil, and Spain, Argentina. Wow, massive games in every quarterfinal you look. It's so hard to predict which way it's going to fall in any, in any way now, in any of the games. Nevertheless, some really good games going on. Uh, and elsewhere, 
Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's looking really exciting, and what a what a way it's coming, what a climax it's, we've got in store for us. Really looking forward to it. Um, but it's time to round off the episode there. In episode 10, we are going to have the quarterfinal against France, and I'm really looking forward to that. So I do hope you can join me for that. If you've made it through to the end of the episode, then thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Do be sure to drop a like on the video uh, if you've enjoyed it, and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And on that note, everyone, I have been Bromo18, uh, and I will see you in episode 10. Come on.